Sipping a raft of four different ciders on a breezy spring day on the porch of Botanist and Barrel, the lady savored the crisp, refreshing tastes. Little did she know the immense effort and patience it took for the fruits to grow, be harvested, and turned into the delicious cider she was enjoying. This is Botanist and Barrel, a blueberry farm, cidery, winery, and a social gathering venue located 15 minutes outside Hillsborough. Meet Kedra Smith. She went to culinary school in Asheville more than 20 years ago. While there, she met Derek McGuffey. They fell in love, and little did they know that their mutual passion for cooking and experimentation would lead them to discover a shared interest in cider making. After some years, the family bought a blueberry farm with a warehouse, not knowing what to do with it at first. After some time, they decided to turn it into a cidery and start it small. Opened in 2014, Botanist and Barrel began production in 2016, having eight barrels in their warehouse with a 5,000 liter tank space. Currently, the warehouse has approximately 60 barrels and over 20,000 liters of tank capacity for producing ciders and wines. Botanist and Barrel is a family business with seven full-time workers and many other contributors. Among the cider makers, there is huge collaboration, respect, and friendship, which makes Botanist a very warm environment. Each of the cider makers has a say on the production process, and every single bottle of cider is the product of their diligence and teamwork. Botanist and Beryl wouldn't have been what it is without Linden, who is the curator of the marvelous labor labels on the beverages. Bailey, who doesn't mind getting her hands dirty when working with the fruits and is highly driven in wine and cider making. Mark, who is so photogenic that he made my job very, very easy. James, who is happy to hand out samples to customers. And Molly, who is deeply fascinated by the science of fermentation and brightens up your day with her lovely smile. All these people work as a team at Botanist and Barrel. The main focus of the team is making cider, although they also produce wine. Harvest season for the fruits they use is, is usually in summer and early fall. That's why after harvest, they pack the fruits and put them in freezers for later, later use. After picking the fruits, they press them to extract the juice. The pressed off juice is put into a tank or barrel, letting wild yeast start fermentation, which typically lasts a minimum of two weeks. They let the ciders age in tanks or barrels, and they regularly check them and stir the juice in them. After a few months of aging, when the taste of the cider settles, they open up a small hole on the barrels and collect a sample for tasting. They collectively taste the cider and give their opinions. Based on the direction they want to go, they play with the acidity, alcohol, or flavors. When a batch of ciders are ready to be bottled, the whole team gathers and spares a whole day to bottle them. It is a highly tedious process. They initially get rid of the yeast that collects on top of the cider. Then they pour the cider into glass bottles and then put their lids on. The bottles are then washed and sanitized. Believe it or not, Botanist has produced over 200 different ciders so far, each of which has their own artistic labels. Each of these artistic labels are curated by Linden, he searches for non-copyrighted artwork and edits them to create unique and visually appealing designs that will catch the attention of their customers. Once the design and labeling process is completed, the ciders are ready to be distributed across North Carolina and other surrounding states, or find their place in the shelves of the tasting room, which is right at the entrance of the warehouse and is open for visitors. You can also visit Botanist and Barrel at the farmer's markets in Hillsborough and Durham every Saturday. Here, they engage with customers, offering samples of their ciders and sharing information about the different varieties they have to offer. Visitors can learn about Botanist and Barrel's unique and organic approach to crafting their beverages while enjoying the friendly communal atmosphere of the market. Going back to Botanist and Barrel, 
Kedir says that one of their aims when establishing Botanus was to be a gathering place for the community, as the rural area they're located in has no community hubs, and that they wanted to fill the void. From spring till fall, they regularly host pizza nights and concerts on weekends at the social space behind the warehouse, where they invite people to come and taste the cidery's delicious offerings in a cozy and friendly atmosphere while offering the perfect opportunity for them to unwind and spend time with friends and family. Botanist and Beryl also participates in the annual Piedmont Farm Tours, where they open their doors to visitors, offering tours of their blueberry farm and winery. Guests have the chance to learn about the cidery's unique production methods, sample their range of ciders with their loved ones, while also enjoying their delicious, freshly baked pizzas. Yes, there's always something going on in Botanist. However, in this dynamic and constantly evolving creative space, the only things that stay the same are their diligence, curiosity and desire for experimentation, warm friendships, the joy they have on their faces and the passion they have for their work, which is clearly reflected in their ciders.